Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, longer running tutorial series on Bannerlord modding. And this series will be aimed at people who have little modding experience beforehand. So we will first cover all the very basics, where you get the tools you need and how to use those tools roughly. I will not cover absolutely everything because time is limited. Uh, but also, since I will be doing like actually substantial mod with actually like uh, pretty good features, um, there will also be some more advanced topics later on, um, which I have not seen covered anywhere else. And so I will show all the features soon that we will build eventually, because actually I have already done this and uh, the project once myself. I hope that once I show it to you, you will agree that this will be quite a substantial mod. Um, not like a toy project, um, but also not too like daunting, I don't think. Everything will be relatively simple to do. And I think it will be like uh, 15 to 20 episodes, maybe, the whole series. And each episode will be very focused on doing one thing. And then at the end of each episode, we will have something working that we can show and test. Um, and also I will, all the source code and assets for each episode will be available on my GitHub for separately for each episode. So most of the time we spend on this project uh, will be spent on programming uh, C Sharp, which is the programming language used for panel load modding commonly. But we will also do some 3D modeling, like very light 3D modeling. It's not like Blender tutorial. Uh, and also we will edit the game XML files, so the game data files, or make new ones um, for our assets and our data. So I will try my best to make it approachable to people. Um, but of course, if you have more programming experience, it will be much easier to follow. Um, and also I plan to stream at least some of the parts, some of the recording sessions for the episodes. So if you happen to catch me live, you can come on the stream and ask me any questions you have. Um, and we can maybe have a short Q&A session at the end of each segment, each part, uh, if there are enough questions. After the streams, I will edit all the videos and make it a more coherent uh, series of videos and one for each part. And later on, you can still ask questions in the comments, of course, and you can also find me on Discord. I mean, either my own Discord or even the Bannerlord modding Discord. Uh, so I will be using only free software that is easy to download and install on Windows computers. Um, uh, and of course, you also need the game, Bannerlord game. And a couple of times we will use the official modding tools, which are only available on the Steam platform at the moment. I don't know if they plan to release them later on other platforms. Right now, to get the official modding tools, you need to have the game on Steam. Um, but even if you don't have the official modding tools, uh, don't worry about it too much. You can still follow along, like almost all the things that we do. And uh, you can just replace the assets that we load with other assets, like from the, that the game already has. Um, so you can do almost everything. And throughout the series, if you are serious about uh, learning how to mod, I recommend that you follow along, especially if you are very new or maybe not that practiced in just typing, like just typing will be a um, very helpful exercise and it will not take too long, I think. So I think you should try to actually do everything we do um, along and it will help you get more comfortable doing all the stuff. But of course, if you just want to watch, that's also totally fine. And I hope there is uh, Great information for you to find in the videos that way as well. So now let me introduce all the features that we will build and I will use the version that I made for my own testing, um, testing this tutorial series um, to showcase all the features that we will build and that we will later do in the actual tutorials. Okay, so we are at the Tukaon Brewery and this is the Artisan Beer mod. And this is my idea of how you could make the workshops in the game a bit more interesting by adding some extra flavor and uh, fun, unique mechanics. 
to the workshops. And so here um, in the brewery, we have this new artisan brewer NPC. And he's going to sell us um, some artisan beer, which is a new item. And if we buy a couple of these, he will after after we buy two of these, he will say that he's out of stock. So there's separate um, inventory or store for um, all the artisan beer that this uh, workshop has. And actually, there's two breweries in the city, so we could go to the other one and buy some more there. But for now, um, let's uh, let's say that this is enough for us. So we got um, two artisan beer items. So he sold me two. Um, cups of this artisan beer and uh, so what this item does is that um, you can use it in combat and it will function as a heal so if we go here you can see I've added some new UI to the combat view and in the top left corner you can see how many artisan beer you have in your inventory and so my, in my mind, you could do something similar with all the all the workshops eventually, but um, in the scope of this project, I've just made this uh, artisan brewery. So now if I um, press my hotkey to use one of these artisan beers, it heals me for 20 HP. And now after using two of these, I'm out and of course I cannot heal anymore. Okay. So that is what uh, what it does. What the item, how you are supposed to use the item. And then um, we also have some features for controlling the production in the workshop. So if I buy one of these breweries, we will get this new manage brewery UI. And here you can access the storage or manage production. So here we have slider that controls how much artisan beer is produced in comparison to the regular workshop production production. So this will you can either set um, your regular workshop output to 125% or you could um, increase the amount of artisan beer uh, produced daily mm, at the cost of uh, generating less um, regular workshop production and then after we wait for a few days or actually yeah we wait for two days and then we have uh, lots of artisan beer here and after you buy the workshop and get this UI you don't need to go talk to the NPC anymore but you can just access the workshop inventory direct directly through this menu so we will go over how to make uh, these custom UIs and we also build UI for the combat view um, the how do you saw in the combat and and near the end of the project we will look at how you can use harmony to modify in the existing how the existing workshops function so this uh, production efficiency thing we will use harmony to change how the game systems work and I guess one more thing I can show is that um, well you can also use the artisan beer in uh, prison breaks so nothing too surprising here. If you take a hit during the sneak mission, you can also heal here. And this is really meant to just make the workshop a bit more interesting and not just a passive money generator. And for the artisan beer item, we will add this uh, beautiful custom model to make it a bit more interesting. And also we will make this uh, brewery NPC drink from this cup using the existing drinking animations. But I think that is pretty much everything. It's just a fun little flavor mod. And uh, m maybe in the end we will do features like localization to get uh, translations working and stuff like that. But that is pretty much all the main features. Okay, so finally, let me go through my plan for the episodes and how we can split this project up into small parts that are easy enough for us to do. So 
let's just see uh, what my plans are. So first we will start with the setup and all the tools and just how, you, how to install them and how to use them, uh, at least where it's difficult to install for some reason. Then we will add the item, um, which is kind of prerequisite for everything we are going to do. So this will be some XML editing, which many people think is easier. I don't know, maybe it is easier, maybe maybe not. Depends on your um, taste for things, I guess. But it will be quite simple. And then we will add um, the mission behavior, so, just so that we can get into the flow of actually doing some light programming. Um, before we spend some more time uh, with the assets, so we will get the asset for the beer mug and load it into the game using the mod importer. And then we will um, do the campaign behavior, which will be the brains of the whole operation and control the wider implications of the mod and all the inventory for the workshops, for example, and everything that affects the game state. So we will start simple there as well. And then before we uh, do some more complicated um, programming, we have to talk about um, DNSpy and decompilation, or you can also use other tools besides DNSpy, but um, we have to talk about how you can decompile the game files um, and read how Tailworlds has implemented some things, so you can use those in your own mod. Um, and then we can spawn the NPC in the breweries using all the knowledge that we salvage from how the NPCs are spawned into the world. Um, and we can move straight to adding a dialogue tree for our NPC and then um, custom character object. So we will create a new type of NPC for our artisan brewer. I don't know, maybe this should be swapped actually, but this is not maybe final. We might have to move some things around anyway. So then, um, then we have the mod in a situation where we can buy the beer from the artisan brewer and um, we have already the mission, um, the item working in missions, but then we can add a nicer UI and also sound effect. So make the, make the combat experience a bit nicer with the counter that shows you how many of this item you have left and add some more game feel, I guess, with sound effects. I just want to show you how I got the sound working because it was not maybe as straightforward as it could be. And also for the view, we will need uh, to learn how we can load UI assets. So the UI sprites are handled a bit differently from, for example, the models or the sounds. So we have to learn how to load UI sprites. Um, so that will be one episode, I think. And then um, we will expand our campaign behavior um, to actually save the items. So we will do saving and loading um, and make uh, the workshops like actually like save save states so save their inventory and other state that they may ha might have mm. and then we will start working on the management ui by adding some game menu is a technical term i guess but we will add um some menus that will let you enter the management ui um and then uh, we will do the whole new page from scratch thing that I did for the um, the actual production management UI. So that will do its own new screen. So we will learn how to do new screens and how you can enter um, the state. Well, you can enter the UI state of being in a new custom screen. Um, so we will learn about that and how you can make your own screens. And then um, we will use Harmony to modify the existing workshop production so that we can get the, we have the slider that controls the production efficiency. So we will need to use Harmony to actually make the workshops in the world behave the way we say they behave. And then um, localization something that I want to say for last because um, it's not very fun to do but uh, it's just something like um, a quality thing that makes a 
makes the mod a bit more polished. And um, then final episode, I well not maybe not final, but like um, lastly publishing the Nexus mods. So setting all the things uh, there with the permissions and stuff, and um, maybe there will be last uh, final episode, which will be like in, uh, responding to responding to feedback or something. We'll see. Like uh, the the last part is is it's flexible, but we will see. How things will uh, work out. So that is my outline for the lesson plans and I hope I can start work on the actual episode soon but there's a lot of, lot of things going on right now so my schedule is kind of all over the place but let's hope I can I keep putting out these episodes uh, fairly, fairly quickly and consistently. We'll see. Um, but anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope you will continue this uh, journey with me and uh, hopefully we will get a great mod in the end. Thank you so much.